Hello, hello, and welcome back, I guess. This is my third video of the day, because I only have like one or two days a week that I can film, and I'm trying to get up more than one video a week up. And like I last week was just, I felt like I was waiting for eons for today to come, but today's Thursday, so that I could film for you guys. Yeah, I really enjoy filming. Um, here's what I'm reviewing today. The Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Set. Blech. That is on Sephora right now. It's, I think, her summer collect- her summer, not summer, ugh, her fall kind of set that she released. Last year she had the lipstick set. I have them all sitting up there. Um, yeah, I personally have some of the older versions of this lipstick right here, and I am not a fan. They're so drying and, like, crackly looking that I was kind of afraid to get this. Um, these are the ones you get at, like, Marshalls or whatever. I just am not a fan, and I'm kind of excited though, because this shade is the old formula, and I have the new formula now, so I'm like, maybe it's going to be a little better. Um, these are the little ones. I also have two other shades that I got in different sets, so I'm not including those, that's Lolita and Damned, I believe. So this one, it says that it's long wearing, high pigment, and a matte finish. I swatched one last night, and I know I cheated a little, but I haven't worn any of these other ones, I promise. Like, this is first impression for you and for me. Okay. Woo. Sorry, I'm in a rocking chair, and it gets, like, really unstable. Okay, and if I'm looking down, you know, I'm looking at the viewfinder or my mirror right here. Um, this is gonna be messy. I got my baby boy. I'm gonna make them over. I'm not gonna wait till these dry, because I know they can take a little bit longer. I'm just gonna let you see the color and tell you kind of how they feel. Um, I'm gonna go in order that they're displayed on the box. So, we are starting with... Plus. That's an interesting name. I don't know what it means, but... It's a pretty color. It's like um reddish brown. The applicator is your typical doe foot. I'm not using a lip liner because I don't think you should swatch first impressions with lip liner because that's cheating. It's very smooth. And it's already way more comfortable than the older formula. I'm not trying to be too precise, considering I'm just about to take it off. <laughs> okay, I think this color is really pretty. What do you guys think? Um, it go, it's really, it looks more brown than it does in the tube on the lips. It doesn't look very red on the lips. I mean, it's definitely a warm brown, but it's not very red at all. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get a new wipe for this because I just filmed the video of the Smashbox uh, holiday set liquid lips and. I'm not liquid lips, <laughs> lipsticks, so my lips are a little raw, bear with. Um, these aren't as easy to take off, of course. Oh, it dried really fast, so you can see what's left is still, like, um, it's really matte. Um, of course, I can't tell you what the wear time is on these, because I've never used the new formula. I can't get it off. Close enough. I got like there's like a little bit on the cool outer corner. Let me actually. Eh, wiping my foundation. It's okay. Oh, by the way, this look I filmed. It's your everyday makeup, like school work kind of tutorial. So go like it. It's on my YouTube as well. It'll probably be up for this video. The next lipstick is this bright red color. This is an orangey red. At least it looks like it in the packaging, but as we saw with the last one, it's probably not. Um, it's called Santa Sangre. Santa Sangre? I don't know what that means. Does it say anything about it on the back? It says it's called, it's a poison apple. And the other one that we tried was a deep russet red. So let's try it. Oh, and the on the back it says that six of these are in her normal line, and two of them are exclusive to this. That's cool. I wish I knew which ones. Oh, I guess the Plath and this other shade called Roxy are new. Yeah. I really like this color. These are really pigmented so far. Um, uh, some of the darker shades might not be as pigmented. You'll see. 
Oh, that's uneven. Whoa! There we go. Looks good. What do you guys think? I think it's definitely an orangey red. It's not too light, which I like. I like tend I tend to go towards more of the darker reds, not like super duper bright reds. I just don't like it. So yeah, it's drying really fast. It reminds me of this one that she released. Ooh, the lid came off. Where it has like a gold kind of reflect to it, even though this is mine. It could just be my lighting. I don't know, you can see it's this is her gold-blooded from last year's collection. Okay, time to take it off. Oh, we need a different type of something to take this off. I'm gonna use the Garnier Skin Active My Color Cleansing Water and a little brown thing. I'm hoping to get this video done in less than 20 minutes because my camera shuts off after 20 minutes and it's really annoying. I wish I could have had my hair down today, but it was raining, and it, oh, it, oh, that's not cute, oh god, yeah, you can see it's like a rash, basically, it's not a rash, it just looks like it from the lipstick, okay, lesson learned, when I'm trying to swatch things, I should not let them dry as much. Oh, that looks so bad. Oh, that looks so bad. That's a little better. I mean, I took off my foundation with it. But it looks better than having a big red rash looking thing on my face. Okay, that color's pretty. Not easy to take off. Next color is the pink. Oh, I threw it. Oh, my apologies. I'm in a rocking chair. It's really awkward. The next one is... This one, I think? Yeah. Backstage Bambi. No, 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 no. Mother. Mother. It's a dusty mauve pink is what it says. I'm gonna try to pick this, the pace up a little bit. Um, it does, it looks look more pink than mauve to me, but we'll see on the lips. It is a dusty pink. It's not quite mauve, but still pink. I like it. It's a nice shade. Good for fall. Nice neutral color I can wear to glass. Okay, I'm running out of time. And I don't have the patience to wet them up when they're dry. So, it's coming off now. As you can see though, they come off easily when they're still wet. So if you change your mind on the color, take it off real quick. But yeah, that color was nice. It was just a little too... I don't know. It wasn't quite mauve to me. It was a little bit more pink. The next one is Lovesick. This is a much lighter pink. I think I want to like this one better. It's much more fall. It's much more cool toned. And... Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It's just more pinky mauve -y. I think this one should be the mauve one, but it's not. It's called... Oh no! Yeah, this one is Lovesick and it's called Mauve Nude. I like that better. I wouldn't... I guess it's a mauve nude. It's a little bit too pink, I think, to be a nude. When I think of nudes, I think of more, like, lighter colors. And this definitely won't be a nude on everybody. I think that's where they failed in their description. It's a nice color, though. I would definitely wear it if my lips didn't look like I had rash from all this watching. Yeah, it's nice. It goes on well, and it's starting to dry, so... What I will say about these is that they're really easy to apply. I remember when I first got the other formula, I hated it. It's so bad. I might just give this to my sister. I really like this color to top. Forever and never, I guess. I don't like the formula, but I like it as a topper to lipsticks. Because it gives you like a more metallic... I'll have to do a look of that. I do one all the time, but I never filmed it. This is Backstage Bambi. This is the one that I have the full size of in the old formula. Sorry, I'm skinning forward to see my mirror better. This is a hot pink. And the description is vivid hot pink. So, my sister would love this color. Um, this one's a little bit patchier. The other ones so far... 
looking pretty opaque. But this one you can see is kind of streaky. I don't know if you can tell in the camera. But in person it is more streaky. Oh, that was a really bad. Sorry, I'm trying to be quick here. Oh, this one dries faster. It's really vibrant. This is one coat. You can see it's not as vibrant as it looks in here. I think with two coats it might be better, but I don't want to have to wait for it to dry. We got it. I got this. Oh, we're getting there. Eh. Gotta scrub it. Oh gosh, it's dry. I just need to throw these away because they look gross. Mm. Okay, and did we get most of it off? What do you guys think? I think so. Mm. I just... This is the brush that I use to put my foundation on earlier, so it kind of just evens out my tone now. Next, this one is called LUV, which is love, of course, but it has period, so. And it's called a rich violet. This is the color. Interesting. I think it's weird how oh, this one isn't. It's still, it's not quite opaque, but it's not as it's not streaky like the other one was. Like backstage Bambi. it uneven over here, but it's okay. It's okay, life is not perfect. It's pretty though. I like it. My sister would like it too. Um, I think it would look good in the fall, late summer. It's good. It would be an evening shade, I think, in the summer. Like if you're going out and you don't want to wear hot pink or bright red, this color would look good. It's really hard to get off when it dries. Which maybe that says something about the longevity of it. They're probably incredibly long lasting. Which they're called everlasting, so probably. And everybody that I've ever seen loves these and raves about these, so yeah. The next one on our little list here is the new one, Roxy. So this is their new shade. It's dead on purple, like nothing, no hints of red, no hints of blue, just straight up her pulp. My sister would love this shade. She would. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Mm, it's a little streaky. Not quite as opaque as I'd like. I have a color similar to this in a lipstick. Um, I think it's one of the Maybelline or CoverGirl and the Katy Perry one? No. It's this Maybelline one, I think. Yeah. This one's a little bit more blue, though. And Sapphire Siren. But this purple, like, you can see how it's not very opaque. Oh, the second layer looks good, I think. Or, like, I feel like... With a purple gloss... It will look bomb. I feel like the more I apply, the more it wears off. You can see in my bottom lip how it's just not sticking very well. It's a pretty color though, but it's just not, the formula on that one's not the best. You can see it, it's just, you can see how patchy it is. Eh, Kat Von D, what you doing? I guess it's a new one. She wants to perfect it. I don't, I'm not a fan. Yeah, it's okay. We're almost done here. We only got one left, and I gotta be quick. I need to use this now because I just can't get it off with that wipe. I waited too long trying to make it look decent. Um, I won't mind if I have a little bit of purple left because the next one is also purple, but it's more of a blue purple. It's really blue. It's called Echo. My sister wants this one so bad. It's called Satin Navy Blue. But it's like a blue with a change of purple to it. So that last color right there. The up close, if it'll focus. I don't know if it'll focus. Maybe. Here it is. So I'm gonna swatch this real quick. It's a 
little streaky, but not as streaky as the last one. This is definitely a fall winter color. It is um, very cool toned. It's a little bit patchy, but it's a pretty color. You can see it's a little patchy. I think if I let it dry, which I don't have time to, but if I let it dry and then put a second coat on and didn't touch my lips together, I have lipstick on my teeth, that's gross. If I didn't touch my lips, like you can see up here the line. But yeah, overall, I think these are pretty nice. They're all day, they feel all day, they feel like they're gonna stay there forever. Um, that's the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. My favorite one was probably the first one, Plath, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't usually go for these colors, but I really like this one. But yeah, um, so stick around for my other videos. If you like this one, like it, subscribe to me, comment below. I love reading comments. I like to see what other people have to say about it what they want to see from me, what they think I should do differently. Um, also, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Make Up My Smile, like, down there, but all one word. Um, I post almost every day on Instagram. I don't, I can't video every day. I don't have time. Um, so yeah, I am doing a giveaway right now. Oh, I hate how patchy this looks. But I'm doing a giveaway right now, so if you want to enter, you can comment below, or you can go to my Instagram and do the Instagram requirements. On Instagram, you can enter every day. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon in my next one. Bye-bye, guys.